G'day, g'day, Nathan here from South East Queensland Hauliers. In this video today, I'm excited to share with you the journey of Sunny the Giraffe's move from Australia to New Zealand. And yes, you heard right, we had the pleasure of moving a giraffe. So how did this all begin? Well, the respective zoos made contact with Jet Pets to orchestrate the international uh, move of Sunny, who was a 17-month-old giraffe standing 3.45 metres tall and weighing in at approximately 400 kilograms. Jet Pets then reached out to Natalie Matthews from Bell Total Logistics, who then had the task of liaising with the shipping line and also the local transport carrier, which in that case is us, SEQH. So how did this play out? The key focus was to have Sunny in the crate for the least amount of time possible. And this is where our involvement came into play at the start of the process because that's the area that we could influence um, in, in a way, whereas the time on the vessel we couldn't change and the time from when he arrives in um, New Zealand to when he gets to the actual zoo was about a 12 hour drive. We couldn't change that. So the only thing we could influence was the start of the job. And so our task started with arranging the crane, the crane at the local zoo. And we were on site and in position around about 6 a.m. The uh, zoo carers had Sunny in the crate safely by about 7.50 a.m. And then after navigating through the zoo, through the, through the property, and loading the crate onto the low loader, it was then time to hit the road with our front and rear pilots. Now, that was essential and that was a huge um, well, one requirement, but also a huge safety um, necessity because some of the high clearances we came across were literally 50 millimetres, um, which was, yeah, very, very slim pickings. So we then arrived at the, safely at our depot in Hemet around about 10.30 in the morning, and the following promptly had to commence. So first one, first step was loading the crate onto the flat rack. The, the second step was actually lashing the crate and Sonny's um, food supplies to the flat rack to international marine standards, shipping standards. And then the third one was arranging the VGM at our depot using our public way bridge and also having the marine surveyor inspect um, the crate and the flat rack. So we arrived at the Patrick Terminal down at the Port of Brisbane just after 12pm for the underhook lift. Now this was the final moving part in Brisbane ahead of the programmed vessel departure of 1pm. This was a sensitive, time-critical move and I'm extremely grateful to be a part of it, this, this journey. And I'd like to give my thanks to the other key professionals that I worked alongside to orchestrate this project of moving Sunny the Giraffe. Additionally, I want to share my thanks and respect to the vets and carers from both zoos. It was wonderful seeing your expertise and also just the general care that naturally kicked into gear throughout every aspect of this move um, of Sunny's journey. Um, it was truly amazing watching that and being a part of it, so thank you so much. I'm going to leave you now with some photos and videos courtesy of Wellington Zoo, which highlights the rest of Sonny's journey on board the vessel and also the arrival into his new home at Wellington Zoo. Thanks so much for watching.